so this is the explanation video for uh, day 25. This was a quite easy problem uh, relative to what we've been seeing lately. Um, so what's going on here? So uh, we have all of these points and two points are connected uh, if they have Manhattan distance less than three. And so consider it as a graph, we want to find the number of components in that graph. Um, right, because two points are in a, the same constellation or component uh, if they have an edge or there's a chain of, um, of ed points with edges that connects them. Uh, so yeah, so we read the input. Uh, this is a quick way with regexes to grab all the integers from a line, although we could have just done split comma, uh, would have been faster. Anyway, we read the input, and then we're going to make a list of all the edges, uh, and we're going to um, identify vertices by their index, just whatever. So two points are connected if they have Manhattan distance less than three. So we just compute that and add an edge if so. And then we just need to do a BFS over this graph to count the components. So keep track of all the vertices we've seen so far and then of components. Loop through all the vertices. So if you've already counted in a previous component, skip it. Otherwise, this thing starts a new component. So count that. And then we need to enumerate everything in this new component. So we're going to start up a queue. Uh, just going to explore the component, starting with, the, with i, which is the starting vertex. And when we have stuff left to explore, grab the next thing, if we've already seen it, continue, mark that we've seen it, and then go through all of the adjacent edges. Uh, so this is going to sort of, I don't know, spiral out from each component to identify anything in it. And um, the number of components is just the number of vertices that, uh, that start, that aren't in any of the previous components. So yeah, that's, that's it.